We are at our Finer Learning Institute of Wilmington, UNCW. Spent some time there myself. A wonderful place. Really cool, right next to the beach. Kind of makes me nostalgic driving through here. But, it's kind of cool, it's a good college. All right, we're looking at a very old Goodman Air Handler. And the complaint is that the fan runs only in emergency heat and not when it's called for heat or cooling. And the reason usually is this bad boy right here. The Goodman Blower Relay, the stack relay. We're gonna get him to turn the fan on and see what happens and see where we lose the voltage. Okay, we have our Goodman Blower Relay right there. And what we had, the power's off right now, is we had 240 volts between the other leg of power and this red right here. The other leg of power is the black there at the bottom. You can check it against that lug to this red coming into the relay and you would expect to see 240 volts or something like that. 230, 244, somewhere in that range. You get up in the upper 250s, you got a problem. Uh, you have a problem with your power company. Uh, but it got to here. The fan was calling, checking 24 volts to either side of this bottom area. See these two blue wires coming in. On the other side is a white wire. Let's see. On the other side is a white wire. You can't really see it that well. But uh, right, like these blue wires come in on the opposite side. Of the yeah, this relay really should have a resistance, you know, of like 70 ohms. Now these can short out, and they'll be less than that, or it can increase where it doesn't have the power to uh, switch the relay. And then all you have here is this brown and black on the opposite side, and that is normally closed. So if the heat strips come on and it's not calling for blower, that will allow the blower to run. The power comes in and then goes out directly to the blower off the other side. That brown wire is from the heat strip sequencer, the black wire is to the blower. That's why the blower runs when the heat strips are calling as a fail safe. So it looks like we lost another Goodman blower relay. It's not doing its job anymore. We're going to switch it out. Alright, we're going to make a little jump splice for this relay. Got my little steak on on there. What I'm doing, I'm crimping it with my cutters. Alright. Now I have a little splice to go in between those two legs on the relay. Now we have our little jump splice on the relay, and we're going to put it in our final leg. I have to remake the end of the blower wire that goes uh, to the blower from the uh, relay here. So I'm going to remake that and then we'll plug that in and I'll explain what the terminals do. We'll fire up, see if we work. All right, let's look at the responsibilities for all these wires. On the top section, we have two blues on one side and one lighter colored brown on the other side. And that brown is the control wire from the fan telling the fan to turn on from the thermostat 24 volts, G terminal. The two blues are common, complete the circuit. It's a magnetic holding coil relay switches. On the far side there you see our little jumper. Basically that jumps power across and you see a brown. That comes from the sequencer. So if the sequencer is energized it sends a signal here and if the fan is de-energized that means it's not calling. It will still receive the proper voltage to run uh, as a safety precaution. And that red wire there at the very bottom, that red wire is your other line of power that will complete whenever it's calling for fan, send power to the fan, and start it up. So that is our new relay, much better than the old relay. Looks pretty rough down here. It's about time to get a new unit. See years of Goodman freezing. See that reversing plug, the blower motor's been changed. Cool, pan full of rust, rusted away. It's just time for a new unit for this one. We'll see. She is alive, she is alive. One good relay, and now one happy fan motor, one happy customer. Okay. That is what did the old relay. resistance is uh, about half of that, if not a little less, on these type relays. But that's what happened.